with a smoothie today because I ran out of coffee. We've got a few things to do today and I figured I might as well just take the camera. Today's Thursday and I think that is the day that I'm going to try to film all my weekly updates. There's going to be an update later in this video. I actually slept through most of the morning. I need to go get a few things done so I will just bring the camera along and it's finally time to go get the film developed. <laughs> That's been taking forever and I just decided last night that I was going to do it this morning because I have a day off from school. It's time to go. Hello again, I'm back. It's been a while since I filmed a few hours, but I'm back now. So here is the weekly update. And because I explained it last time, I'm just going to get into it. So I believe the first one was um, creative. So obviously I filmed a few clips in the, in the photography store. That place is amazing, by the way. I never thought that there was a store near me that looked like that, that just had so much stuff They've got brand new cameras, used cameras. They've got vintage cameras, lenses, a whole bunch of photography stuff, just everything. So I will probably be going back there soon. I guess the, the big talking point of this section for me is I'm finally getting the film developed. So that's a big thing for me because it's taken me like almost two months to get the just the first roll of film developed. Now I'm just going to wait a few days and <laughs> We'll just, we'll just wait and see what they look like because I still don't know what any of the pictures actually look like. I could have shot just three just basically horrible rolls of film and I won't find out until in the next few days, even though I've already paid for it. So that's that. I mean, other than that, that's really all that I've done there. So in the financial category, I... I'm just planning on, on getting that photography studio in the room that's now behind you, uh, you know, in, in place. I really want to get that set up and I, these plans have started to rise up and be a lot more realistic. We're starting to figure out exactly what we need. I've, I've really brought it down to just the lighting and the paper. Other than that, there's actually a few things I need to take out of that room. Like we actually want to take the fan off the ceiling. There's also a cabinet in that bedroom now that didn't used to be there, but now it's a, it's, it's in the way. So we need to move it. Um, other than those two things, that room is perfectly set up for a studio now. It's just a matter of buying the things that I need. I just, the, the, <laughs> the lights are like $600. So, but there's probably going to be an actual video on that. That, that'll have its own, you know, that's going to be something else. So I'm not ready to spend that money, but at the same time, oh, wait. This is the funding for the studio. So if you don't know what this is, this is a, it's an infrared camera. I actually sold this on eBay. It was my dad's and he never uses it anymore. It's in like perfect condition. It's sold on eBay for $1,825. <laughs> All we're waiting for is payment from the 
buyer. Once that's done, we basically have all the money we need to do exactly what we want to that studio. I think it's going to be perfect. I'm trying to not let my mind go overboard with what I want, but at the same time, we do have room to get good equipment. The other part that I am excited for is along with the funding, I'm actually thinking of a way I might be able to rent out the studio. It's really not that hard, so I just want to make sure that in the beginning we make this studio as good as possible, and I'm actually thinking that might be a pretty good way for me to make money. Yes, I may still try drop shipping. Along with the renting the studio idea, something else that I've come up with is actually selling my prints, because printing has always been a thing for I don't know how long, and I think it would be cool to sell some of my photos. So actually, to whoever's watching this, um, please leave a comment down below if you want, or you know, not even if you want my specific pictures, but if you think that's a good idea, I'd love to hear feedback on that idea. And um, if you think renting out the studio would be beneficial, I think both of those ideas are fairly good. I'm thinking of selling the photos online and in person on, you know, like places, places like booths and different craft shows, stuff like that. Um, that's really it for financial. Now, well, now we're getting into the lifestyle. Now I don't have a job for sure. And I started my first week at college. Now that I don't have a job, I'm unemployed. I really have to think about different ways to make money. And I think that's where these two ideas came from in the previous section because I I no longer have money coming in. That is just not something that happens. I, you know, I guess I will get one more paycheck on Friday. My last week was only last week. That's it. That's going to be the last money that I'll ever see from Ewing go into my bank account. And that's a scary thing to hear for myself mainly just because I'm I'm all about trying to make money and I'm about to make nothing for probably a long time. Yeah, I, uh, we're just, we're here to figure that out. So, um, no more job means more time to go to school, have fun, you know, do other things. I'm about to go climbing. Room for more opportunity, more improvement. And I think that's a good thing. The other thing is school has started at the same time that I became unemployed. And I'm really, really enjoying school right now. I'm taking accounting, entrepreneurship, a core history, and international business. I am not even gonna take the time to explain some of these classes. Accounting is accounting, history is history. Entrepreneurship is basically why I added the financial section to my, my weekly updates because we're just sitting there trying to figure out ways to make money and they're just assignments. That's perfect for me. I, I think that, that having a class that will do that for me along with me giving myself the time to do it outside of school is just going to be perfect. By September 7th, we actually need to have a, a solid concrete business idea as well as an elevator pitch and an executive summary. So I'm going to have to figure that part out, but that's in like two weeks, so I think we'll be okay. And then the, the elephant in the room for me is this international business class. This is the first class that I've ever taken with my best friend, Chris, and that's something that's really important to me. But what might be more important is the class itself, and I don't really have a good way to explain it, but it is probably going to be one of the hardest classes I've ever taken because the instructor teaches it like a Harvard course. I actually have material from Harvard Business Publishing that we're using, and it, we're using the case method, and for some reason he just decided that we're gonna get it from Harvard. The class is, it's really interesting. We're just going to learn through the experiences of other managerial situations is sort of the way that I've understood it. But I think that is the class that will probably have most of my attention for the rest of this semester. Even though it just started, I had my second day yesterday. And <laughs> I honestly couldn't, I couldn't be more excited for that class or any of the other ones because it's just a big change for me, not working anymore and going to school and just having all this other time to myself to be able to go out and do things. It's, it's amazing. So I am grateful for that and I want to make the best use of it that I can. But with that, that's going to be everything for me. Um, I hope you stayed till the end. Leave a comment down below and subscribe and like the video. 
if you got all the way to the end and you're hearing me say this. And also, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you if you stayed all the way. You mean the world to me, like I said in a, in a previous video. You're here at the beginning, and I couldn't be more excited for you to be here with me for that. So thank you so much, and have a good day. <laughs> I'll see y'all next week.